Lumenzio version 7 now makes it easier than ever to create luminosity masks and selections in Photoshop. In this quick video, you see some of the new dynamic interface updates that help make that possible. For example, in the past, if you wanted to go work on this guy, you might start by clicking on L for a light selection, noting that there's too much selection of the shadows, you might move to a lights 2, you might go refine the orange preview layers. You can still do all of that, however, you have a new option. This precision slider on the right here lights up whenever you have an active preview. Any of these previews has a slider, at least one. If I click and drag it, it will refine the preview that I'm working on. So I can go anywhere from a light one down to a light seven and anything in between like a lights, you know, 1.75, if that's the right amount. So I can very quickly just slide this to get the exact mask I need and then load it up. In this case, an HSL layer should do nicely and we could go increase or decrease the saturation in that sky through our mask. Let's say instead that we wanted to work on this wave front. Well, in this case, I might use the zone picker because I don't know what midtone that is. Click on the highlight in the waves, say okay, and I've got a pretty good starting point, but I can revise it through these two sliders. So if I drag down, I'll focus just precisely on the thing I targeted. And if I slide up, I'll focus more generally on it with more of the adjacent tones around it. So let's get that a little bit closer to where we started. And if I slide to the right, I'll pick brighter tones. I'm actually selecting higher luminosity values to the right or to the left, darker luminosity values, so I can tweak in the exact amount. If I didn't get the highlight of that wave, this would let me really dial in exactly where I need to be. Now at this point, it's looking pretty close, but I do have quite a bit of adjacent water here. And if we look back at the original image, this wave is very blue. So I can take advantage of one of the other dynamic aspects of the interface, which is to click on the blue swatch. And now it'll focus on just the blue values in those midtones. If I click on L for my lasso, I can then add one last refinement, which is to tell Lumenzia, just focus on this part of the mask and ignore the fact that some of the sky has some similar color and tone. Go click on our brightness layer. And now we can go and adjust the brightness of that wavefront with tremendous control here. You see just how nicely that's adjusted the image. This slider also works on the mask. So if I click on this mask, I can actually click on different slider values and this will soften this mask. I'll go full screen so you can really see it here, but if I click down or up, I get to different feather values in this mask. So as I use a group mask to control the results of this underlying mask, I can tweak in just the amount of feather I need to make sure things look really nice in the image. Of course, the knot button is also dynamic. So if you're looking at something like knot lights four to protect the sky, you can work with this normally, make adjustments, but I sometimes find it hard to work with the inverted mask. So we can just flip it. Now we can visualize what we're working with in terms of protecting these particular tones, flip it back, and you could load that. I'm just gonna cancel this one. We don't need this for this image. We're not gonna work on the sky any further. Let's go focus instead on these rocks down below. We can go use a dodge burn layer get that created, and now we've got our brush automatically loaded by Lumenzia. We just need a luminosity selection to paint through so we can target the highlight edges here. To do that, let's use the zone picker. We'll pick the highlight edge of these rocks, say okay, and it's done a nice job of focusing on the rocks here, but it has a lot of the shadow values and I'd like to be more precise. So we'll just take the precision slider and slide it all the way down to really hit those rock edges. Now when we click cell to load it as a selection, Notice that zone two is lit to remind us that we have a zone two selection active. That's also new in version seven. And we just paint right through that to bring out more of that rock edge. So that's just a quick preview of some of the over 150 enhancements that have been made to Lumenzia version seven. Please head to gregbenzphotography.com slash Lumenzia to learn more.